In this video, I'm going to discuss adding in a root gap dimension so that you get a little extra space between your mate part and your actual cut. So here we have a hole, and I could just specify this diameter as 2 plus some given root gap, but that's not always convenient when you do an import or you have a lot of holes and you want to remember what your actual target diameter of your mate part is. So you can just add the root gap to this field here. And in this case, I'll put in 0.125. And there you can see that the gap actually expands while the mate part stays its original size. Similarly, I can do that for other holes. Here's a, here's a rectangle. I've already got a root gap in that, you can see. If I add maybe a bevel angle, see a little better. And this also applies to end cuts. For example, here is a saddle, and we can see we're just sitting right up against the saddle. But if I add my root gap here, I'll make it 250 just to make it show up a lot. Now you can see it steps away uniformly away from the mate diameter. On a miter, it just steps the part away from the surface. So if I add a root gap here of 0.25, you can see it just stepped away by 0.25. And this also applies to all the other cuts except slit. So here we have a Y trunk. I can add a root gap of 0.125. And there you can see I get a root gap there. And looking over on this end, I can do the same thing for an elbow support. So here I can add a root gap as well. It stands up off the part. 